Hello and welcome to Let's Wander. I'm your host Chris Day and as always I am joined by my two furry companions Buddy <laughs> and Lila. Oh. Whoa, careful woo. And today we are in Pet, just outside of Rye, near Hastings, on the east side of Sussex. And it's been an amazing night. We have uh, pulled up on the side of the road and just kicked over uh, by a little lake here. And if I just spin you around, it's got loads of really fancy birds that uh, inhabit it. There's a white egret I can see over there, one of my particular favourites. And uh, just coming around, you can see some of my other favourites, cows. Not the quietest of places, but it's the Harbour Wall Road, Pet Level Lane, I believe it's called. So, we've had our breakfast, we're all ready to go. We're going to head over the Harbour Wall and go and check out the beach. With all this being said, let's wander. Just over there, there's a couple of, a couple of birds, one's an egret, that was a, a herring gull, I believe. I'm not sure you can see them, there's some tiny little fish darting around in there, very shallow water. It's amazing that they can survive in there. Probably a couple of inches. They seem to move around. There you go. You can see them when we move. It alerts them. You can see the little darts. But the lila, a little bit closer. There you go. Check out the layers on this. Millions and millions and billions of years, I guess, of sediments compacting and things happening. It's just so amazing. It tells a story from there how to read it. I don't. <laughs> you might know. I don't know much about you guys. Maybe you can do these things. Maybe you do know how this works. Maybe you're geologists, some of you. I find it very fascinating. There's just so much to know about. So much to learn. So little time. You may notice there's a few, a few crows nesting in the cliff. Not sure what type. There we go. Okay, so we just got back from that nice little walk along the beach up to the cliffs, which I was so impressed with the patterns of the rocks. It was quite amazing. And they really did look very artistic. And uh, I now have a very pooped out and fed up looking boy. Lila looks like she's up for more. I will get the sand off of the off of the sheet. Oh, God. They got covered in sand last night. I forgot the towel. Had a very sandy night's sleep. So that's all got to be cleared up. I'm gonna spin you around and uh, show you the cows and the birds that have now come a bit nearer. And just off in the distance I have noticed there's a windmill, there's a black and white windmill. Which is really cool with the sails. I mean, I saw about three on the way here, but they didn't have the sails. 
and just down over there uh, in the next lay by there is a uh, like a looks like an old train carriage or maybe some sort of cattle transporting thing from the past has been turned into a cafe it's called the red pig cafe and that was how i found this place because i was told by my friend steve to come and find uh it's on the lay by next to the harbour wall there's a cafe so i looked it up on google maps and that's what i found so i'm assuming this is the right place but it looks very good so i'll pop in there in a minute and go and get a cup of coffee i'll just spin the camera around you can have a look at the nice view we've got here now so you've got the cows here and there's a pond here which seems to have a lot of birds on it now And then just right off in the distance there, just on top of the hill, that's the windmill I was talking about. I don't know if you can make that out. Just beyond the cows. So we got to Rye yesterday, about 12.30, I'd have said. Hi, there. And um, we, kept, we found a place to camp up for the night. It's not the most attractive place. It's right by a railway station. We had uh, people walking past all night and... Um, a couple of people actually looked in, which was a little bit creepy. But mm, got two big dogs with me, so it's not really that much to worry about. I'm just going to have my morning drinks, <laughs> my morning coffees, and then we're going to head up. We did a little bit of recce last night. We're going to head up the hill. There's some really cool stuff to see. There's some really lovely old buildings. So I'm just going to give these guys some breakfast, and then we'll get on our wonders. Here you can see this had flying buttresses added to it. Flying buttresses are supports. If you look at these walls, you can see there's a distinct bow. If it wasn't for these supports, then there wouldn't be much of a church here. Just some ruins by now.
interesting structure. I'm not sure what it is because the sign's completely worn away. It looks like it's full of water. Oh, it is. It doesn't echo. Okay, so that takes us to the end of our trip to Rye. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'll like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'll be back again next week on another adventure. Not sure where yet, but that's the way it all goes with wandering. We never really know where we're going until we hit the road. So, from me, Chris, Lila and Buddy, we're eager to get on our way. This was Let's Wander, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, 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 bye.